Gentlemen, number one, don't panic. Do not panic. Because today, we're going to take on the greatest fear and mystery in men's fashion. How to tie a bow tie. But you know what? I'm going to take the fear out of it. Because I'm going to show you that actually the bow tie knot is a knot that you already know how to tie and have been tying your entire life. And I'm going to show you how. Here, I'm Big Pretty Man. Hi, welcome back to Big Pretty Man, a channel for the extra-large man who wants to live his life large and in charge. I'm your host, Timothy Big Pretty Crow. I'm a wardrobe and lifestyle consultant for the extra-large man. And yes, folks, as I said in our intro, today we're talking about the mysterious bow tie. <laughs> and the reason I call it mysterious is because I remember when I was a kid, and I would see sometimes, like on television or even, you know, family, I would see the bow tie untied, you know, hanging with a, you know, in that strange shape it has. And I would think, wow, how do you tie that to get it right? That's got to be super complicated. And, it, you know, and it's a little intimidating. And I think that the, that the bow tie actually is intimidating to a lot of people. I mean, today, a lot of men I know can't tie a tie and let alone tackle the bow tie. That wouldn't even be conceivable. And, you know, and I will even admit that, you know, as I was growing up, the few times that I had to wear a bow tie, usually when I had to wear a tux to a wedding or a prom, um, I, as a, you know, as a, a sartorial expert, <laughs> I hate to admit, but I wore the, the pre-made ties, bow ties. You know, the ones with the strap and they're already pre-made. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I admit it. I did it. Rather than try and tackle uh, to try and learn how to tie the bow tie. And you know what? A little bit in my defense is that I never thought that the bow tie would be something that I would normally wear. The reason being is because I do have a big face and I don't really have a neck. I mean, I always tell people I don't have a neck. My head just sits on my shoulders and a few ball bearings in there so I can swivel my head a bit. That's about it. So I always thought putting a bow tie on would just be like, you know, gift wrapping my chin, you know, like giving my head away for Christmas as a gift. So I didn't really see much point in a bow tie, and I, and I avoided it. However, recently, due to my wedding, a lot of the gentlemen in my wedding did not know how to tie a bow tie, so I'm like, well, guess I'm going to have to learn. <laughs> so I did learn how to bow, tie the bow tie. And I was actually fascinated to find that it's actually a knot that I already knew how to tie. And I knew known how to tie since I was about five years old. Yeah. But and, but we'll get into that later. First, well, let's talk about the bow tie itself. Uh, you know, the bow tie, it, you know, it definitely makes a very bold statement. You know, it's not one that's seen as often today as it would have been in the past. But, you know, it is still a very, you know, it gives a very neat, a very precise look. You know, a very, a, a very clean look. You know, it, it, it's come to be associated um, with both um, high society, high formal wear, and also kind of with academics and, 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 and uh, intellectualism. If you think about it, you know, uh, professors wear bow ties. That's what we expect in our culture. It's become a stereotype. Einstein wore bow ties. You know, we see, you know, Bill Nye the Science Guy wears a bow tie. You know, you know but also the, we see it, it in the highest, highest level of, uh, of, of formal dress for men. In white tie and in black tie, the bow tie is required. You can't replace that with a tie. It would just be horrible. I've seen that done with tuxes and it's horrible. <laughs> you know, you're supposed to wear the bow tie. So, you know, so at the highest level, white tie being the highest, the bow tie is, is the highest um, tie you can wear. So, but, you know, the bow tie is not just for that formal wear or even just, uh, just for professors. You know, it is always a, a very sharp look. It can, it's a sharp look that can, that can come out you know, whether you're wearing a, a suit or whether you're wearing business casual, it definitely sets a certain tone. 
you know, and without and this is uh, this is a tie that you can go for a lot of different patterns and colors. You know, polka dot ties, stripes. You know, uh, uh, a, a, a lot of a lot of uh, of imagery on the ties. So you know, the, the the bow tie definitely makes a bold statement, and it's not actually when. Out of st ever went out of style. You can still wear a bow tie, and it'd be perfectly acceptable to any event, whether it be a you know a, a high formal event or just a simple mixer or cocktail thing. You can wear the bow tie. You can even wear it, in you know, and and kind of sit in in um in casual wear. You know, kind of dressy casual wear. Okay, so f next let's talk about the history of the bow tie. Where did this particular tie come from? Well, actually, it comes from um, the same place that regular neckties come from, long neckties, and that is from the cravat. If you see my video on the cravat in its history, you know that the cravat came from during the Thirty Years' War ba back in the 17th century. Uh, when, when we had Croatian soldiers coming into France, they wore these very elaborate um, uh, neckerchiefs that they tied in a certain way. And the king of, of France really liked this. And, I think it was uh, Louis the Thirteenth, and and he demanded people start wearing them, and then all of a sudden they become the height of fashion, and you know when they evolved over t and they evolved over time. Um, when King Charles the um, Second was in was in exile in France, you know he picked up the, the picked up the cravat, and he and when he was uh, uh, reinstated as king in England, he brought it over and. It was carried over into England and then through the, the rest of the English, uh, the, the, Eng the British Empire. So, you know, they, it became the, the standard wear. And the cravat went through a lot of different evolutions and, and, and evolutionary trees branched out from the cravat. Both the normal tie that we wear today evolved from out of the, out of the cravat, but also the bow tie. What happened with the bow tie is that first it started, they started tying knots in it, you know, to, to pull it tighter, and they put this the typical bow knot in the front, and this was known as a stock tie, which is very popular in the 18th, 18th century. Uh, you see a lot of the men, gentlemen of the, uh, of the uh, revolution in America, um, such as Thomas Je Jefferson and, and others, wearing the stock tie, and you see they've tied the little bows in. Well, as time went on, the the that that bow tie to the cravat started to evolve. You know, it, it went to what's known as a lavalier, which women mostly wore with this big huge bow. You know, th that that style came out, but also men were wearing that, and children wore them. And then uh, over time, as when when suits and when day suits and then tuxes came in, that tie had evolved and 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 it, and it shrunk down, and you end up with the bow tie. Which by the the mid nineteenth uh, century it become it become the standard tie. By the early twentieth century, of course, the Great Gatsby period. You know, hey, the bow in, in the night in, into the nineteen twenties, the bow tie was the the height of fashion. You know, and, and sophistication. So you know that's the birth of of, of the bow of the bow tie. Okay, now with a little of the history behind us, <laughs> now let's get into the nuts and bolts about how to tie the bow tie. Now before I start I will say this. I know it's very easy to go to the pre-made uh, bow ties. The ones that are already pre-tied and they just have the strap that goes around. Uh, you know the ones that we all use for the prom as we was a, when we were kids. Um, and, that is a, and that is probably the most uh, popular cop out so that you don't have to learn how to tie the bow tie and probably the reason why that most people don't know how to tie it and it still remains a bit intimidating it looks like a headache to try to learn and most people just don't have that kind of patience however you know the the, the problem with those uh, pre-made ties is one they're too perfect you know they're a perfect bow and that doesn't look right that shows you don't want a perfect bow. Just like I talked about with those uh, pre-made uh, pocket squares, you know, that come in this little thing you stick in your pocket, that are perfect. You don't want that perfection. That perfection looks cheap and like you don't know what you're doing. Same thing with the bow tie. If you have on the pre-made bow tie and that perfect that perfect wing, <laughs> you know, um, propeller wing, then it it it, it shows. It, it is the same impression. It looks like 
that you're afraid of it that or that you you don't know what you're doing and it looks cheap it lo you know it, it it does not look authentic uh, it looks fake because it is fake so the thing is the bow tie should be a little askew you know a, a little spritzatura as they say you know a, a little le left of center um, it, it should it should have a little ruffle to it. It ha should have a little imperfection to it. That gives it its sophistication. That shows it's been hand done. You know, handmade is always more valuable than something off the processing line. Same thing in men's fashion. So you want your your bow tie to be, be just a little off. That little off adds that sophistication, just like with, with the pockets the pocket square. Now, as I said, most people, you know. Uh, most men, I think, are a little intimidated um, by by the bow tie. They see that tie and they think that just looks like it looks complicated. It looks like it'd be a headache, and who's got the patience? Ha, um, and I've known a few men that have uh, have tried to learn how to tie it. And by the way, there are a lot of, of really good instruction out here on YouTube. People showing how to tie the bow tie. You know that you know find one that works for you. You know as well as with mine. But what I'm going to talk about in tying the bow tie is the concept behind it, which may, which may help with the instruction, with the putting it together, exactly how it works. And what I'm going to tell you is, is that this knot to the bow tie is a knot that you've known how to tie since you were about five years old. You already know it and you just don't realize it. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about when you learn to tie your shoes. Folks, it is the exact same knot. You're just doing it, doing it vertical. You know, that's the only difference. It's the exact same process. It is a bow. You know, if you look at when you tie your shoes, you know, um, and you think about it, you have you have a uh, a loop on top on one side, and you have one of the the end strings below. On the other side, you have the the, the end string above and the bow below. You have the same thing with a bow tie. You know, see, I've got the, I've got a loop, I got a loop, a loop here, and this is on top of it. But on this side, this is on top, and this is the loop. So it is exact. You know, so you know, see, top, loop, loop, top. It's the exact. You know, with the knot in the middle. It's the same knot. It's the exact same knot. You're just turning it a little different way. And the reason that people are sitting struggling with this thing is they're not aware of that. Number one, and number two. We've been tying our shoes since, since we were small children, you know, and, and, you know, little kids, if you ever taught them to tie a shoe, it takes a while and they get frustrated, same as we do with a bow tie, you know, but eventually, you know, it becomes automatic memory, it becomes rope memory, you don't even, it's automatic tie, you tie your shoes, you don't even think about it, you just, you know, and you tie your shoes, you know, you're, I'm doing it here. <laughs> without the, I'm miming it, and, but I'm getting the, the moves right because my hands are trying to do it. That's why, and we're used to doing that with our shoes. It's the same, it, but it's the same knot. And if you start thinking in deconstruction, really think about how you tie your shoes, it's going to help. It's, it's going to help you tie the bow tie. Okay? So, you know, what I'm going to, um, so, so I want you to think about it. When you tie a shoe, how do you start? You tie a, craw, a cross knot. Okay, a cross knot or, or you know, or a half square knot. You make a loop, you circle that loop, and then you take the the uh, the, the loose end and you push it through the gap, the, the loop you just made, and pull. All right? Think about it. Think about tying your shoe. Round and through. Circle, around it, tuck through, pull through. And I want to show you. You know, that you tie the bow tie exactly the same way. You're just doing it at, 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 a, at a different angle. Okay? So, you know what? I'm going to take this bow tie off <laughs> and uh, take this, I'm going to take this vest off so you can see the contrast a little better. And I'm going to show you as best I can. Uh, you know, it's a little tight for me to do it, you know, um, to, to really get in there and show you. But I'm going to walk you through and try and show you best I can how to tie the bow tie. So let's get with it. Okay, folks, so here we go. So let's try not to panic. <laughs> All right, so first, after you make sure your tie is set to your neck size, take the tie, just like any other tie, put it around your neck. Okay, simple enough. Make sure that it's even on the back. All right, put it around your neck. All right. 
Once you get it around your neck, now you're going to do just like any other tie. You're going to make sure one side is longer than the other. So on your right, make sure this right side bring it down a bit. Not too far, um, like that. Now, so like, about like that. Now, now what we're going to do is just like you would do, like with a Pratt. You're going to take the large end and go over the, the short end, like this. Make sure that, that you cross kind of above this bulge here, so you still have the bulge shape here, okay? Now, take this, and from the bottom, take it up, and pull it through. All right, now we've made a, 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 a half square knot, and pull it tight. Make sure you get it tight, good and tight, as good as you can. Make sure it's behind the neck, okay. Now, when you make, think about when you make a square knot, when you're tying your shoe, what's the next step you do? You make a loop, so that's what we're going to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and take our finger behind this here, and it's kind of right behind here, and just kind of pull it. And what you want to do is you just want to make the loop like this, and just bring it in front. You don't even have to make a big, big thing. Just bring it in front like that. Okay, so finger behind, make a loop, just like that. Now you see it kind of looks like a tie, right? A bow tie. Now. Now what you want to do, think about it, when you tie your shoe and you've made your loop, you take what do you do? You take the string, you go over top of the loop, and then stuff it through, and that's what we're going to do. So take this end here, and you want to kind of make sure it's still straight at the top, and pull it down like this. Just like that. Over top of your original loop. Okay? Just like that. Now as you see, you kind of straighten it up. Alright? Now you see, you start to see the beginnings of a tie. Now, like I said, what do you do after you made your loop on your tiny shoe and you circle around the, the loop, uh, the, which is what we've done here, what do you do next? You take the, stri the loose string and you stuff it through the other side. And you may note that when I made that loop, I made sure that it was on, uh, it was going to be on my left side and that the loose thing was going to be on my right side because I want the loop to go through the other side. So what you do is take these two together and hold them together like this and kind of pull them. Okay? Now, what if you look here to the side, oops, let slip up here. Now if you look here to the side, what we have is we've created a hole there in the tie. And what you want to do is you're going to take this end of the tie like this and you're going to stuff it, you're going to stuff it through like this. So take the tie, and this is going to be a little hard because the hole's a little small for me, and just stuff it through there, just like that. See, I'm stuffing it through this hole in the back, right in the middle, like that, okay? Stuffing it through. All right, now I've got it through there. See, I've stuffed it through from the other side. Now, I want to pull that through a little more, a little more. All right. Now, as you can see, I'm starting to get my tie shape. Now, even though they say, well, that's looking a mess right now, right? And you keep pulling it through a little. Straighten up, pulling it through, like so. And then on that. Now, what you want to do is you want to straighten it up. So what you do is you take this side, and you may know I've got, I've got a tie, I've got a loop on this side, a small end on this side, and I've got, uh, you know, loops on top, the ends on the bottom, and on this top, the the, the ends on top and the loops on the bottom. So what I'll do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to hold these two together like that. I'm going to straighten up this bow, get it the way I want it. That's good. Now to reverse on the other side. Now on this side I want to get this bow like this. So now if you look I'll move this bow on this side here. Make sure that this part has come through. So now, if you look, hey, look at there. So all the thing you got to do now is just kind of reach and get both of, so as you see, I've got one on top, like I said, the loop on top, this on the bottom, this end on the bottom, and then I got this end on the, on the top and this loop on the bottom. So what you want to do is kind of reach inside and just kind of goof and play with it. Get them even. All right? Just pull and... You know, one side kind of pull and try and get it even with this side. On this side, kind of pull and try and get it even on that side until you start to get your bow tie. And straighten up this thing in the middle. 
voila, I have the bow tie. A little off center, a, you know, a little left to center, as they say, but that's what you want. And like I said, you can keep poking and playing with it till you get it the way you want it. Now, I'm pulling on this side, pull on this side. So basically, it's just like a tie on my on my shoe, you know. Right there we go. And now I just turn this down. Just call her down. Make sure I go over the bow tie. <laughs> All right, there we go. And there we go. And that's it. And like I said, now you can still keep loose on it. Like I said, you've got you've got a, a, a bow on top and, and an end on the bottom. And on this side, you got the end on top and the bow on the bottom. And just kind of pull and tweak until you get it the way you want it. Like so. And voila! Here's my bow tie. <laughs> Okay, now as you see, I have set and tweaked at it and pulled at it until I've got it exactly the way I want it. Um, and that's what you got to do. You know, it may look all flayed out. So long as you have the basics in there, then you can set and just like you would with your, sh your, your shoe strings, you know, pull one loop one side, pull one loop the other side, pull them both, get it tight, pull the strings out till you get them even. Same thing here. You know, you got, you got your, this loop, pull on it, got this loop, pull on it a little bit. You got the you got got the end here. Straighten it up till you get it lined up. And do the same thing on this side. Pull pull on this side till you get it lined up, until you get it the way you want it. Straighten up the, the middle, and boom, you know, you get your bow tie. Is it completely straight? No, and it shouldn't be. Once again, it should be that little off off center, a little that little off kilter. It gives it that professional hand done look, which is so much more sophisticated. Than, than the look that you get when with those pre-tied ones that are perfect. You don't want perfect. You want hand done. Hand done, it, that slight off, the spitatora, shows a level of class, a level of skill, a level of sophistication, and, 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 and a level of dapperness. And that's what you're going for, to show yourself to be a real, you know, sophisticated man, you know, and a real, Dubonair man, and this the slightly off look is going to give that to you. Now, like I said, go out you know, the the bow tie. It's a it's a wonderful accessory. It's one that I'm glad that in my own discovery that I've made. Uh, it looks great. It's one of the few ties that looks great whether you're with, you know, you're doing it informal, whether it be white tie or black tie. If you're doing it in in, in business. In business, business uh, of uh, in business, or if you're doing it in business casual, it still works. You can even wear it somewhat casual. The bow tie is extremely versatile. is is versatile even more so than your regular long tie. And I'd highly recommend going out and getting them an array of colors and the polka dots and all of that. It brings that level of sophistication. Also brings a level of intelligence. It gives you that intellectual look. You know, and the debonair look. You know, that that you the, a rock a, a, a look that you can really rock. <laughs> you know, so okay, folks, that's what I've got on the bow tie. So you know, if you have any questions, please put them down below. I'd love to hear your experiences with the bow tie, um, and you know, maybe some different ways that you found some tricks to tie it. I'd love to hear that. And so you know, don't be sure to. Uh, give me a like down there and subscribe if you like if you if you like what I'm doing here on Big Pretty. Join the Big Pretty Nation, and you know so go get yourself some bow ties and and put them on and you know what, you stay pretty. <laughs>